Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I'll be going over the report from Ian Rapport that Dan Quinn is one of the top candidates for the Washington Commanders head coaching job. I'll talk about if I like it and some other head coaching rumors as well. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well and comment down below if you would like this high or not. It helps out the algorithm a ton. Okay, so got a bunch of football this weekend, had some games yesterday, we got some games today, go Pack Go, let's beat Dallas, or not let's beat Dallas, but hopefully the Packers beat Dallas, and then tomorrow on Martin Luther King Day, we got some games as well, uh, Philadelphia Eagles will be playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but that's not what we're here to talk about, there was a you know Washington Commanders head coaching room that came out today, and yesterday a little bit too, and it's from Ian Rapport, and he said that Dan Quinn is a top, not the top, but a top candidate for the Washington Commanders head coaching job. Does that mean he's number one? No, but it means he's probably top three to four for the Washington Commanders. And no, I'm not a huge fan of Dan Quinn. I think he's a very, very good defensive coordinator. And when he was in Atlanta, he was an okay head coach. Right now, we have a lot of people think the most you know attractive head coaching job available, especially after getting Adam Peters. So I'm not settling for mid. I'm not settling for okay head coach. Maybe he'll be better than he was in Atlanta. He's second time through, but you can say the same thing. Like maybe we were saying the same thing about Ron. We probably were. He's going to be better the second time. He's learned things. Well, no. And I mean, a lot of Ron's faults here were because he was the general manager as well and taking time away from being a head coach and also being a head coach took away time from being a general manager. So and he made a bunch of decisions that were bad. And Dan Quinn will not have that power here, but I still rather not have Dan Quinn. And what I think this is, and, and I do believe it because, you know, Ian Rapport is saying it, Tom Pelissero is saying it, some other big names are saying it. And when a lot of national media is saying it, usually there's a little bit of smoke to it. And I'm not saying, oh, the you know, guys like Florio who you know, they make up a bunch of BS. They do have some sources, but a lot of the time it's BS and some other guys as well. But the guys like Ian Rapport and Tom Pelissero, a lot of times they're not saying BS. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do for sure. But more times than not, they're right. So uh, does this mean we're hiring Dan Quinn? No, but this could be a situation where, like, okay, maybe we get we want, really want Ben Johnson, but the Panthers are paying him five more million dollars per year than we can offer. And then maybe... You know, Bobby Slog really wants to go to another team or he wants to wait another year, just like Ben Johnson did last year. Maybe then that's when we hire Dan Quinn. But I still don't think it's going to happen. But just in case, we'll go over a little bit of information about Dan Quinn. I don't think he's, he would be a terrible head coach at all. I don't think so at all. I think he would be a okay option. But again, we have one of the better you know, had coaching jobs available. So to be, you know, settling for okay, in my opinion, it's just not the move. It's just not the move for the Washington Commanders. Uh, but yeah, we'll go into that a little bit later. But he has been with the Cowboys the last three years, I believe, what, 2021, 2022, and 2023. And he took over a terrible Dallas defense in 2020, or in 2020, he took over a terrible yeah, but sorry, the Dallas Cowboys defense was terrible in 2020. He took it over in 2021. They were really good, and they've been really good ever since. So he's an elite defensive coordinator. Players love him. I don't think he played in the NFL, but I think he played in college, I guess, at Salisbury. Uh, I think that's what D... It might be... I think it's D2. I'm not completely sure, but they've got a solid football program there. But besides the point, you know, he's played some football. The guys love him. And he's really helped develop some guys like Micah Parsons, you know, even Trayvon Diggs, Jerome Bland, guys like that who, you know, before him weren't that good or, you know, someone like Micah Parsons. I mean, he just came into the league and was amazing. But I think, you know, a huge part of that is my, is because of Dan Quinn and how he moved them around a ton. And, you know, a lot of people thought he was going to be just be a linebacker. Well, Dan Quinn had him at edge and of course was a Falcons head coach for a while led him to a Super Bowl 43 43 and 42 all the time so close to 500 and that's pretty similar to what Ron was before he came to DC and was a beast in Seattle as a defensive coordinator there when you know they had their best years in the Legion of Boom and you see there with you know Richard Sherman Earl Thomas and Bobby Wagner Cam Chancellor you know go Hokies 
and he was in Seattle before that as well. The 49ers, Dolphins, Jets, is a bunch of different positional coaches, and well, yeah, D line coach a bunch. So he has he's got great experience, lots of experience, and you know, would he be a terrible uh, you know head coach? No. Again, though, we have a lot of people think the top option you know top destination why are we going to settle for mid and honestly i want an offensive guy i want ben johnson and you know bobby sloak wouldn't i would like him too but if we're going after a defensive guy give me a young defensive guy that hasn't coached before that has a lot of potential and that's mike mcdonald so he's either my second or third option he's really young but also has been you know really good for the ravens as their defensive coordinator also as a defensive coordinator at michigan and they did good and when he left the ravens the ravens they weren't as good and when he came back they've been dominant so i really do like mike mcdonald i think he would be a great head coach i think he will be a great head coach in this league the problem is obviously if you're drafting a young you know uh, you know quarterback you're going to want a good offensive coordinator in place and you're going to have to keep replacing them hopefully if they keep doing well and that's what D'Amico Ryan is going to have to do in Houston but hey that that's not a terrible problem to have if you have to keep replacing them because these offensive corners are going out and maybe you're getting some draft picks as well but that that's a problem way down the line not going to be you know talking about that at least until the next offseason if that's if we hire someone like Mike McDonald but again my preference is Ben Johnson. Then it's like basically a tie right now between Mike McDonald and Bobby Sloak for me. And I think probably Bobby Sloak is one of the top options for Adam Peters since he works. I think he's he he has he, or he has a brother at least. Bobby Sloak has a brother who works for the 49ers, so there's you know connection there. And I believe Bobby Sloak did work with the 49ers. I'm not completely sure there, but he did work for Washington a long time ago as well. So there are some connections there. And there's a lot of connection between Dan Quinn and Seattle. You know, Dan Quinn obviously was a defensive coordinator there, and they have a job opening now that they, you know, moved on from Pete Carroll. He's going to have an advisory role there. So Dan Quinn probably wants to go back, and that's what Ian Rapport had to say. He always thought Dan Quinn was waiting for Seattle, and he's a really strong candidate. He's had job offers before the last couple years, you know, at least one or two, maybe more. I think from the Broncos at one point and some other teams, but he's he's been chilling, and he's like, okay, I can chill in Dallas for another year, maybe win a Super Bowl, keep balling out and maybe get another job and wait for the perfect opportunity, whether that's Seattle, Washington, or Dallas. You know, if if Dallas, you know, what's the bed today? They lose to the Packers and maybe the defense isn't the problem. Mike McCarthy's getting fired. And if he gets fired, maybe the Cowboys want to go big and get Bill Belichick. That's probably what Jerry Jones wants to do. Or maybe they just want to be like, let's let's stick with Dan Quinn and I, or promote, I guess, promote Dan Quinn. I think Dan Quinn that would be his preferred destination. And then number two would probably be Saddle and then us at three. So I I still think it's a low chance Dan Quinn lands in Washington. I really hope he doesn't because I prefer probably four or five other candidates in him. The only guys that we've requested an interview that I, you know, I like Dan Quinn over is probably Aaron Glenn and maybe Raheem Morris, the Weaver guy. I don't know too much about him. There's some intriguing things about him. So I don't know, maybe I would rather have him over Quinn. I'm not really completely sure, but he hasn't been a head coach before, which is something that, you know, I don't know. We've already seen what Dan Quinn can do, but yeah, that's kind of it on my take on Dan Quinn. I think he's a very good defensive coordinator and he's, you know, he, he can be an okay head coach, but I think, you know, we're a good destination and we can get better candidates. So I'd rather get Ben Johnson, Bobby Slowick, Mike McDonald, and even some other guys that we haven't even requested an interview yet, like uh, Dave Canales on the, he's the offensive coordinator for the Bucks. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new and peace.